In this video, we're going to go over Control Link and specifically the Focus Map feature of Control Link. I'm going to use it on a couple of different built-in effects in Studio One, but it works the same way with third-party plugins and virtual instruments. And I'm going to show you the difference between Focus Mapping and Global Mapping as it applies to plugin effects. So I've got a Red Light Dist plugin, which is the Red Light Distortion and a Beat Delay. I'm going to leave Beat Delay off to get started. And I'll double click right here in the inspector to open the user interface for red light. Now with this open, what we're going to do is map hardware controls to parameters in this plugin. And the way we do that is using control link. We can open the parameters right here with this gear. This gives us the control link setup. We also want to select the correct controller right here. So this controller has been already installed. If you have several, you can choose them from this list. So I want to make sure you have the right one selected right here. Now, I'm going to put this on the yellow mode. If we click on this, you can see we can flip it between the global mode and when it's yellow or highlighted, then it's in the focus map mode. In the focus map mode, this plugin has access to all the hardware controls that are available on your controller. So it's the one that you see on the screen is the one that gets the control. So let's go ahead and map it to the low frequency control on here. So I'll twist this control on screen and twist my real physical hardware knob on the controller, K1, and then link them together right here. Now I'll do the next one. I'm twisting the knob on my hardware. We'll touch this control here and then link them together. Now I've got hardware control over these two parameters. Let me just play back and play with that a little bit. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now, what if we want to control a different plugin? I'm going to go ahead and close this and open Beat Delay. And now I'm going to play back before I do anything more, and I'm going to twist those two knobs. You'll see that I'm not getting control over the two filters from Red Light Distortion. All right, so I've lost control over those because now Beat Delay has full access to all the controls. I can completely remap those controls to whatever I want to do with Beat Delay. So in Beat Delay, first I need to turn it on. I've got the LPD-8 selected. I've got Control Link open. I'm going to control the Beats parameter. So I touch that control. I'll touch K1, and I'll link them together. Now I'll touch the next one up here, and use Mix, and I'll link those together. Now I can play with these two controls while playing back. But if I go back to the red light disc plugin, I can then use those parameters instead. So I'll show you an example of that. So that's the cool thing about Control Link. We can reuse our controllers throughout Studio One. Now, one thing about focus mapping is that as long as we have any plugin or virtual instrument open with the focus map enabled, none of the globally mapped parameters will actually have any effect at all. This takes precedence over anything that you might have global mapped. So I'm going to show you an example of that. I'm going to close this plugin and we'll map this fader using global mapping. I'll twist K5, right click on the control and assign it to K5. If you have a bigger screen, you can do that up here with a very similar pair of control link boxes. I have a narrow resolution right now, so that's not available on screen up here, but you can right click on any control that you want to map. I'll take my next control, which is K6, I think, and we'll assign it to this pan. So I right click and assign it to pan. So now I've got pan assigned and this fader assigned. Now, if I reopen the red light distortion plugin and I twist five and six, they don't have any effect because focus mapping takes over everything. If I want to use those, I need to turn focus mapping off right here. And you can see that those become active again. 
So this is something to be aware of. If you want to be able to operate things in the background, you can't have focus mapping enabled on those specific plugins. So if you wanted to control, say, the low cutoff frequency and the high cutoff frequency of this filter in red light dist, then you might need to use global mapping if you want to close the user interface and be able to control it in the background. So first of all, I'm going to go back to focus mapping mode and undo the assignments I have. So I'll twist the first knob and the second knob and I'll unlink those. Now I'm going to do global mapping and I'll link some additional knobs. I'll link these higher knobs to global mapping parameters. So we'll go back, use the same thing. I'll twist K4 and assign that to the high frequency. So now I've got these assigned to two new knobs. Now I'll go ahead and close this. When I play back, I should have control over those parameters along with my other global map parameters. So that's how you can control parameters in the background. You need to have them in the global map mode. Now beat delay, which is still in the focus map mode, will take over the show so none of my global mappings will work while I see this yellow on any open plugin. So only the focus map plugins will play. If I want to actually operate those, I need to turn this off and then it will work with those closed. So if you wanted to set this up for a live performance, then you might want to map different things to different settings. So for instance, if I wanted to be able to control this, I can leave focus mapping off. I'm going to assign this to knob one, and I'll assign this one to the mix. This is the second knob. Now I'll summarize everything I've got set up in global mode. I've got K1 assigned to the beats parameter of beat delay. I've got K2 assigned to the mix parameter. This is my low cutoff frequency filter from red light dist. And this is the high frequency cutoff. Then five is the actual channel volume. And then this is the pan. So now I can play back and play with any of those controls. And get all these up on screen if I use the pin here and play back and play with all those parameters. So those are some examples of using controlling focus mapping and global mapping to do different kinds of setups in Studio One. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.